Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Herpticulture, and I'm Ronald Damp. Today I'm doing a little maintenance in my reptile room here. As you guys can see, I was just cleaning off the inside of this plexiglass front here with some cleaner, but not just any cleaner. I wanna, that's why I'm here to talk to you guys about that. But first, if you guys have, I just wanna let, guys let you know, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. So if you're watching this video now for the first time, based on this review of this product that I'm about ready to give you, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps and supports me and keeps me, you know, keeps me giving, keep, gives me motivation to keep putting out good material and try to keep you guys entertained and informed. So with that, let's get started. So this is the product I'm talking about today. This is F10 Veterinary, Veterinarian Disinfectant. And it comes in two forms, okay? This one right here that I showed you is F10 SCXD. What that means is it is super concentrated and it's XD stands for it has a cleaner, uh, it has a cleansing solution in it, so it, it has like some natural enzymes in it that helps break down thorn material, you know, urates and, and other solid waste that you're trying to get off of your cage and get rid of, okay? The other product is their basic F10 Super Concentrate. This is without the other, uh, the other enzymes or chemicals that they put in it to, um, to help remove those wastes. This is just a disinfectant but works really well also. All right, this is F10SC Veterinary Disinfectant. These come in various sizes. These are the 6.8 ounces. Uh, what I was just using at, right now was this the basic SC, because I'm just, you know, I just wanted to you know, wipe the fronts clean, get some of the humidity off the front so I can see inside my cages and uh, and it disinfects and it's safe for your animals. This stuff kills everything. It kills pretty much everything. I'm not gonna go through the list of what it kills because um, you guys can do that for yourself. You look online, it'll tell you what it, what it fights against. Uh, but I will tell you this, the dilution rate is not very much. It's uh, for basic disinfecting, it is one in 250, a ratio of one in 250. No, excuse me, a ratio of one in 500. So that's, Two milliliters, two milliliters. If you guys pick up a basic syringe like this, I, you can you can pick one of these up from your pharmacy. I I went to the pharmacy and they just gave me a free one right out of the drawer here. No needle, just a just a syringe, and to help you measure this product. So like I said before, two milliliters. So a ratio of one in five hundred would be two milliliters. I keep repeating myself. Two in two milliliters per one liter of water. Okay, so if you get yourself a spray bottle, I think these are pretty much one liters. Most of them are one liters. And yeah, 32 ounces or 946 milliliters. So it's almost, a, it's pretty much a lit, one liter. So you would just, for general disinfecting, you would use two milliliters of solution, squirt it in your bottle, fill it with water, actually fill it with water first, and then squirt it in. Because if you fill it, if you fill it with water after you squirt the solution in, it's gonna foam up on you, and you're gonna lose a lot of the a lot of the uh, solution uh, from from over spillage. Just don't do it. Trust me. Just put water in first, and then add the solution. It's much easier that way. Um, let's see what else we got here. So yes. So what you do is open the little cap right here. Squirt her in. You know, remove the safety seal, of course, and then put your syringe in here and suck up the solution. Pretty easy. This stuff can remain in the cage, wet. You don't have to remove it. You don't have to put water on it afterwards. It can. It, it, this stuff you can actually, as long as you as long as you follow the re the recommendation uh, dilution uh, ratio. And don't don't put too much in there. You can actually spray this on your animals, and it doesn't even hurt them. It's it's great. It's wonderful stuff. But it kills parvo. It kills bacteria and fungals and um, all kinds of other viruses. And it's it's really good. And it's also can be used in a nebulizer. And there's a lot of opinions on this. And I've I've heard it from different people. When your snake gets a respiratory infection, nebulizing with this it works. I've used it before. But in really bad cases of respiratory infections, it may not work. So you may have to seek medical attention 
from a veterinary and go other routes. So, but it works. It's great. You can ne you can um, miss the air with it to kill cross contamination. It's like I said. I can't say enough good enough about this stuff. So these are, and then the, of course the let's get into the the uh, XD. The dilution rates, I think, are pretty much the same. Oh, before I get into that, though, you can use a higher solution rate, up to four milliliters, because it says basic is one in, one in 500 ratio, and uh, extreme disinfectant, you know, uh, disinfection is, is like one in 250, so that would be four milliliters per liter of water. So you can do anywhere from two to four. It doesn't matter. That's that's fine. I usually I usually do about three. I'll fill up with water and do about three milliliters, and that goes the same. I'm pretty sure it goes the same for this. Yeah, I need to look on the back. I filled the paper off, but yeah, it's the same. It's pretty much the same same ratio uh, for this. And I have as you can see here, I have two water bottles. I have one that's not marked. This is my SC. This is the basic. And I have another one. That's marked. That's marked XD. This is the stuff I use for when I spin the, you know, it's a complete cage, cage clean. I'll go in there and I will spray this in there to remove any urates off the plastic and you know off the floor, or whatever else. These bottles are great. These bottles are awesome. I'm, I'm kind of what my pet, I have a pet peeve when it comes to water bottles. You know, you get those water bottles, you get them and you, and you go to spray them and they leak out the thing and they leak down your hand. Or they don't spray it all, and you're like, you know, sp spraying the heck of it, and you're just like, oh man, this thing sucks. Yeah. These are cool. These are Harris Harris Pro Sprayers. I got these off Amazon, and I will provide you guys the link in the description below of, of where you can get these. I think you can get like a three pack of these for like $12.99, and they're worth it. These things are great. Let me just show you here. That's a heavy mist, these things, and they work every time. And I've been I've had these for a while. I've been using them, so there's no problems. They don't they haven't died on me yet. So highly recommended for your reptile cleaning and maintenance needs. Good stuff. I will also provide the link in the description below for both of these products: the F10 SC and the F10 SC XD for your extreme cleaning needs. Basic disinfecting, hardcore disinfecting. You do not want to use the SC XD. You do not want to use, I repeat, you do not want to use the XD in a nebulizing or in a nebulizing or a nebulizer because uh, you don't want your snakes inhaling this stuff. It has other stuff in it that will, other chemicals in it that, which I can't tell you what they are, uh, that will hurt your snake. Only use the SC in a nebulizer for your animals if you choose to do so. I think I can cover it. So that's it. Product review on F10 products. Highly recommended. I love them. I, I use it all the time. And it won't hurt your animals and it keeps all the bad stuff away. So, and you can spray your hands with it too. You handle an animal, just do the old right here. I show. If you have a sick animal and you handle your sick animal, always decontaminate yourself before you go handle your other animals. Gotta get in the habit of that. All right, everybody. So that is my review on F10 veterinary disinfectant. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, please, and click on those notifications so you get notified when I upload new videos. You guys have an awesome day. Remember, make the day count and have fun doing it. All right, I'll see you next time.